In this video today, I'm going to show you how to set up a super simple yet super high quality live streaming solution. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rowlands and this channel is all about live looping. Upload three videos just like this every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now recently I've been getting a ton of comments and questions asking how can I set up my Boss RC505 loop pedal to do a super awesome live stream setup. Well that's what we're going to do in today's video. Now there's a few things we're going to need in today's tutorial, but most importantly, we're going to need an audio interface so we can get the maximum audio quality for our live stream. Now today I'm going to be using my Boss RC505 loop pedal because this is actually what I use to perform with, but it also doubles up as an audio interface. Now if you own a Boss RC505 and you want to learn more about the USB modes on the device, check out this video over here for more detail. Now the next thing we're going to need is obviously we're going to need a computer. Now, we're going to head over to my studio right now and I'm going to show you some free software that we can download onto our laptop to get ourselves up and running. So we're now here in the studio and I've got my laptop and we're going to install the live streaming software. Now what we're going to do is we're going to boot up Safari or Google, whatever you run on your computer and we're literally going to type in OBS streaming software. Now this software is a free download and what it's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to set up a much more complicated live streaming setup than if you were to just literally take your phone out your pocket with the flashlight on for some random reason, but literally take your phone out the pocket, go onto the Facebook app and then just start live streaming on here. It's going to be so much easier to just do it on here with more flexibility. So we are going to head over to their website, download the correct version for your PC, Windows or Mac, whatever, whatever you prefer. And basically, we're just going to download it. Make sure you read all the terms and conditions and you're happy with what they are saying and then continue with the download. Once it's downloaded, it will be in your folder here. We'll just boot it up and then it will verify, unpack itself and then we'll drag and drop it into our applications. So now we've got that downloaded, let's head back to the video area and continue setting this up. So now that we've downloaded OBS onto our computer, let's get to the good stuff and start setting this up. So this is what you'll be presented with when you boot this up for the first time. Here you have your monitoring view for your camera and things like that. Currently it's blacked out because we haven't set up our camera just yet. And just below here we have our audio mixer for monitoring all audio related aspects of our live stream. So in order to set these things up, we need to go over to the sources panel down here and we're gonna click the little plus icon to add a device and add a source. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off with our audio. Let's set up our audio inside of the software. So we're gonna set up an audio input capture device. So let's configure that there. And let's call this um, iMac mic. So it's going to be the onboard microphone on our iMac just to demonstrate how you set this up. So as you can see, it's set to the default device. We'll click OK. And down in the audio mixer, you can see my voice is being monitored from the software. Now this is a super simple way to set up your audio inside of OBS and get it up and running. But you didn't come here for the super simple way. You wanted some advanced techniques to take your live stream to the next level. So let's get on to the good stuff. This is where our audio interface is going to come into play. Now remember, I'm going to be using my Boss RC505 as my audio interface. But if you don't own the Boss RC505, a regular USB audio interface will work exactly the same. You'll just plug it in, configure it how I'm going to plug it in, but select your brand audio interface and then plug your instruments into the inputs and outputs, etc. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a source and we're going to add an audio input capture. But this time we'll call it RC 
505 for easy reference in our sources menu and organization. And instead of selecting the default device, we are going to select our audio interface USB device, which is the RC505, conveniently labeled there. Now let's click OK, and you'll see now in the audio mixer, we have our RC505 as a device. Now when I click play on this loop here on my RC505, the audio input monitoring will kick in. Check this out. So as you can see, our loop is clearly playing back inside of our software. Now let's mute our iMac microphone and you can see that this continues to play back, but we're not hearing the audio from our loop pedal. Now, obviously, most likely when you're going to be performing in your live stream, you're probably not going to use your laptop or your computer as your monitoring source anyways. You're probably going to use your guitar amp, your practice amp, your headphones, whatever you usually use inside of your house to play with your musical equipments. But probably for peace of mind, you are going to probably want to have some form of audio reference before you go live to make sure you know there's no clipping, it doesn't sound awful, and you can check the levels so they sound half decent. So I'll show you how you can set that up right now. So we're gonna click this little cog icon here, and we're gonna open up Advanced Audio Properties. And then inside of Advanced Audio Properties, we have audio monitoring. Now by default, it's set to off, but we can change this if your heart desires. And we are going to change our rc 505 audio monitoring to monitor and output. So I'll turn my Mac down a little bit so it doesn't blow my ears off and check this out. So as you can hear, my loop pedal is now streaming out of my computer via the audio monitoring option here which is a little handy feature for obviously checking your levels. Now the next thing we need to set up is our camera. There's no point in going live and having a live stream with a blank screen like this. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your camera here. So in order to add a camera to your live stream, we're going to do the exact same process. We're going to head down to sources and we're going to add a device. This time it's going to be a video capture device and we can name this iMac camera, whatever you're using, you know, whatever your internal camera is, and then we'll select the device. So before we select the device, down here we have resolution settings. Now these resolution settings will allow you to basically set the quality of your camera and live stream. I'll explain this in a second. So let's set up our HD camera, and you can see my face, beautiful face, now appears in the software on the screen. Now below here we have the preset. So this is where we can kind of set the resolution of this camera. So if you wanna drop it down a bit, if you haven't got very good internet basically, let's say you have a 4K camera, it would have like a super high option in here and you know you might have not have good enough internet to pump out that resolution. So you can drop it down to you know, potato quality, you know, 320 by 240, and you can see it's dropped down the resolution and quality of the camera. But we'll go back to 720p, and we'll click OK. So we've now added this device into our OBS, but you can see, you know, there's quite a lot of blank space here, and you might not want this, you know, it looks a bit weird. So literally, it's super simple, we're just going to drag uh, this out, and it snaps into place, so you know, you're not gonna go too far by mistake, it'll just snap into place, and now we fit our sort of composition of our live stream with no black bars anywhere. So there you go, that is how you set up a super simple but yet super powerful live stream solution. If you wanna learn how to set up a multi-camera live stream, let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be more than happy to make a video to help you set that up. But we've got the fundamentals here to a super powerful live streaming solution that we can build on in the future. We've got super high audio quality, which is the most important thing going directly into our computer. And then we've got a half decent camera with our built-in webcam, which you know, people can see us playing. It's more than good enough for a live stream. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, drop this video a like, and also turn that notification bell to on so you don't miss any of my future videos. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you want to learn more about live looping, check out this video over here, and I will see you in the next one.